Hey, what's going on everyone? So, this is the first video in the series of how to play Town of Salem. In this video, I'll be going over a couple of basic things such as basic role information, knowing the role list, commonly used terms, how to make a will, and how to use the notes. For an easier time to navigate through this video, I have included timestamps in the description below, which should also show up in your scrubber on the YouTube player itself. And make sure if you want to see more advanced and more in-depth tutorials in the future that you watch this one all the way through, show your support. At the end of the video, I have included instructions on how you can ask for what video I do next. So make sure, like I said before, to watch the entire thing all the way through. Do me that favor, pretty please. And share this with your friends, your family, your dog, whoever else. Just get my word out there in order to make the town of Salem an amazing community. As a quick disclaimer, I don't claim to be the best town of Salem player ever. However, I do know a lot about the game and I'd like to pass that information on to you guys. So let's get into the video. So if you look at the top right hand corner of your screen, this shows your role attributes. There's a couple different things that you'll notice. As you can see, I am an escort. It says your goal, your abilities, and what type of attributes you have. As an escort, my ability is every single night I have the option to distract one person of my choice. And I'll get a little more into this later on with other videos, but just know that each role has a different unique ability that it can use every night, and knowing that is very key to playing this game. The next thing you want to get familiar with is the role list. So in this particular game mode, as you can see in the top left hand corner, I am playing the town trader role list. That means I have a one sheriff, one jailer, one doctor, one lookout, town investigative, town protective, etc. going down the line. And if you click on any one of those randomized roles, like town investigative or random town, it can tell you what specific roles those are. You saw me click through a couple of them right there, but for example, for the random town, a random town can be any town role at all. So it's the same thing for the random mafia. You can have any single mafia role except for Godfather and Mafioso, which are unique roles, meaning there can only be one of them. There are a couple of other unique roles such as Jailer, Retributionist, Veteran, and Mayor that are town specific where you could only have one of them. So if you have two people claiming Jailer for example, one of them is probably evil. So getting used to acronyms in Town of Salem is a must. A couple of acronyms that you'll see very often are CC, VFR, 1F1, or TITP, things like that. Essentially, a CC is a counterclaim. If someone, like in the last example, claimed a jailer and there is another jailer claim, you would say, I CC that jailer claim. In role specific game modes like Town Trader, where I'm playing right now, where there can only be a certain amount of town slots, you can say, I CC TI. TI meaning Town Investigative. You can learn what type of role you have by looking at that info card in the top right hand corner and viewing the alignment. Next up, we have the VFR, which stands for Vote for Roll. It's an easy way to get all of your town rolls filled up, and since you have that roll list filled, you can find the Mafia easier, or at least to get CCs to narrow down who may or may not be evil. The last term is 1F1, or 2F1, however you want to put it. It just means one for one. <laughs> you toss out one person, or another just in case one person is lying and the other isn't. So the next thing that I'm going to get into is how to write your will. So your will has a couple of components on it. At the very top of the will that you see right now, it says what my name is, then the whatever my role is, and then below that it says N1 standing for night one and whoever I visited. Keep in mind if you're evil you don't want to actually put hey potato the Godfather and say who you stabbed that night doesn't really go too well for you. I'll put out more videos later on explaining how to go about creating a fake will as an evil, but for now, this is how you write a normal will. Normally, I write the number of the person that I visit, that way it's easier for everyone to read, 
but some people like to put in the names for whatever reason. Do whatever you want to do. The next component is the actual roll list itself, which is only useful in roll list game modes such as Town Trader for example, but as you can see it accurately depicts what roles are in the game and who I've either determined as a real role or as a claim role. So a couple ways of determining a real role is for example in the top left hand corner you can see that I have one person dead, it is a sheriff that's a town role, and he is number 9. That automatically fills up the sheriff slot no matter what, regardless of any sort of circumstances. Another way is one claim as a doctor or one claim as a jailer. Those are automatically confirmed and of course you confirm yourself in your own slot if you're town. For example, me being an escort, I confirm myself as a town support role. To give you an example of how this will look whenever you're finished, here's a clip from the end of the video to show you exactly what all I put down. Finally, the last thing you want to get familiar with is the notes. So the notes aren't particularly useful for town, but you can use them to your advantage when you're playing as an evil. For example, with a fake medium claim, you can fake, quote unquote, your dead chat by writing down free scripted text things. I don't know what you want to call them, but you can you can fake the dead chat with your notes. Or for example, in all any, going back to what I said earlier, you can use it to keep track of every single person's role by going one, two, three, four, and then just writing out everyone's claims just to keep a better track of everything. Using all of these things may seem really trivial to the majority of you who are playing this, but they are the essentials to playing this game, and learning them can make or break your skill in this game. It's not just knowing how exactly to lie to people. If you don't know how to write a will, or to CC a claim, then you could be sussed out very quick as an evil. So hopefully all of this helps you guys in your future games. Like I said, it is very simple stuff. But it is very, very, very important for anyone playing Town of Salem. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything that this has brought to you guys. It's something new, something I haven't done before. And if you want me to make more of these videos, go ahead and give me a comment down below. And also make sure to include which video you want me to do next. The numbers will be listed above. Just write down a comment saying, I want to see this next, and I'll be sure to work on it. I put a lot of time into this. Hopefully it's worth it in the end and it gets you guys those fat dubs. But regardless, my name is Shadow and I'll see you in the next one. Later guys.